Hi all, my name is Aaron Master, and this is my wife. I'm Sydney. And we are launching Centerpoint Church in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin in September of 2020. And we couldn't be more excited. We're very excited. To give you some background on ourselves, um, we love to be outside and do things outside. We love to travel. Um, we're also both black belts in karate, which is kind of weird, but kind of fun. And then we just love good old fashioned grilling out with our friends and family. During the week, I'm a second grade teacher. And I've been a pastor at Rippey Community Church for over seven years. To give you a little bit of info on our calling to plant in Fond du Lac, uh, for me it actually started when I first stepped into ministry. Um, for some reason, church always felt weird to me, and a lot of my friends and family members had this experience as well. And I wanted to remove that. Uh, I wanted to make church less awkward and less weird. Um, so my goal was to help new people or people that are turned off on this not experience this weirdness and awkwardness so that they can grow in their relationship with God in a safe, uh, warming place. Uh, and luckily, this was a huge part of my role at RCC, is to help get new people uh, into the church building and helping them grow in their relationship with God. So I spent a lot of time doing that and brainstorming on that and eventually evolved into wanting to plant a church of our own to then do more of that. Um, so we started to the process of becoming church planters and uh, luckily, I had a lead pastor who planted Ripon Community Church. His name is Mike Hoba, and he's coached me since day one to be a church planter. So we started looking for a place and uh, found some, some cool cities, but just never felt God's calling until, until Fond du Lac. Um, once we got to Fond du Lac, things started to just change for us. Um, to give you a little info on Fond du Lac, Fond du Lac is a city of 40 to 60,000 people that has around 1,500, maybe even less, uh, people currently attending an evangelical church and over 40% of that community is unchurched or not a part of a church at all um, That blew us away. Those yeah. numbers are crazy um, And so after visiting and seeing all of those statistics We talked to some people that were currently living in Fond du Lac people of all ages and backgrounds um, And after talking to them, we knew that there was a really big need for a contemporary style Christian church in Fond du Lac And so we really felt that God was calling us there yeah. Yeah, we clearly felt God's hand in all of our interactions and just felt this overwhelming feeling that Fondi is our place. Yeah. Uh, so with this said, as a church, to clearly put our vision is to help people of Fond du Lac take their next step in their relationship with Jesus. Whether that means simply getting someone to attend a church, whether that means helping them start a relationship with Jesus, whether that means growing their relationship with God, or, or helping them become a disciple that makes disciples. Uh, we believe we can accomplish this in three main ways. The first one is the Sunday experience. Um, the Sunday experience it has to be this contagious, positive vibe, meaning one that's life-giving, it's biblical, relevant, fun, fun <laughs> purposeful, and of high quality in all areas, whether that's through how you're greeted when you walked in, whether that's how the bathrooms look, how the service plays out, and how well we take care of your child on Sunday. Yeah, the second way that we can do this is through relationships. Um, we believe that we can help you take your next step in your relationship with Jesus by putting you in supportive and encouraging community groups. Mm -hmm. um, these groups will not only help you grow in your faith, but also help you act on your faith throughout the week. Um, Aaron and I are no anomaly, and we know how hard it is to make relationships and keep friendships. Um, but as a church, we want to be a catalyst to help people start new relationships. Yeah, definitely. And lastly, we believe we can stir up action. Uh, we desire to create a culture where all of our teaching will prompt practical action or living that is not only just something people think about on Sunday, but something they act on during the week, whether that's at work or at home or at school or with the family. Because we believe when this happens, we believe uh, not only do lives change, but families change, communities change, cities change. If this sounds like something you want to be a part of, or you want to be on a team that helps make this happen in Fond du Lac, we want you to contact us. Uh, we look forward to working with you and, and seeing how God uses you and this church to do something amazing in Fond du Lac. Thanks. Thanks.